Hello everyone, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how you can use the Audible app on your iPhone. The very first step is to fire up the App Store, make sure that you have everything set up in terms of Apple ID, and just download the app. It is free to download, but you should probably know that Audible, as an app, works as a subscription and a credit model. So the way that Audible works is that you just get the app, you log in, and the way to purchase books is to get credits. And you get credits usually by subscription, so you can buy monthly subscriptions for like 10 bucks a month, and you get one credit per month. And this one credit can be used to purchase any book. So let me just show it to you right now, because I'm getting ahead of myself a little bit. So you open up the app, like you go to your iPhone, but you can see that you don't get anything unless you log in. So you just click on your profile and make sure that you sign in to your Audible account. You can use the Amazon account because it's the same, it's from Amazon, right? So you can get started if you don't have one or sign in if you do have one. But the important stuff is the marketplace because the marketplace is very like important in this sense because I, for example, have and I use the German marketplace, right? So I have the audible.de. So that means that my account, my subscription is tied to the German marketplace of Audible. You may be in the, in the United States or in Australia, doesn't matter where you are, you just have to choose the proper one. And even if you happen to live anywhere else, you can use those of a different countries, but it's just not gonna be as convenient, it's not gonna have like your currency, and it's just gonna work a little bit differently, right? But Let's say that you choose the correct one for me, it's gonna be the German one, and I can log in without any uh, problem like this. So it just went away, so let me just sign in like this. Click on continue, and you have to use your email address as well as the password to like log in the usual stuff like this. So let me just go through it very quickly. I hope you don't see the password like that, so yeah. Okay, now once I log in, you're going to be able to see that I get inside of a couple of different sections. So the app on iPhone, the Audible app, is split into different categories. So you have the Home, Library, Discover, and Profile. The Profile is where you can view your subscriptions and how many books you have downloaded, some badges for gamification and stuff. Not really that important, you can see and check out your listening time. For example, yeah, like listen to over 17 days of books. But when you get to home, you can browse some books which you may be interested in, which is fine. And if you find a book that you like, let's say it's going to be this one right here. It doesn't matter what it is, just some random book, right? So I'm just going to scroll down towards the bottom a little bit. And the first thing you can see is the credits. I have one available and this book costs one credit. So I can buy it with the click of a button, the orange one, or I can add it to my wish list or I can read or like listen to the sample right now. But once I decide that I want to buy it, I'm just gonna click on that, it just goes through the process, then the book is gonna appear in my library section. So when I switch to library, I'm gonna be able to click on that book, like this one, and pull out the music player or the audiobook player. And right now from this point on, it's very simple. Like you of course can use your headphones or connect it to a car. In case you use it with a car, I would recommend you to go to the car mode like this. And you can see that this is very simple because I have like huge buttons and you can mark it up, you can bookmark certain sections that you like and stuff. So that's very useful. You can also adjust the speed like that. So that's something I don't necessarily use, but you can to save time. Then you also have a timer to turn it off art on after a certain period of time, or you can bookmark certain clips. So this is how you can basically use the Audible app on an iPhone. Besides that, you also have some podcasts which are native to the Audible app and like things on the wish list and collections and stuff. So many different things to play with, but that's basically how it works. The discover section just shows you another set of books or podcasts which you can listen to, but as far as that goes, you can just find that the same books which you already like probably know about. Yeah, it's like, yeah, it just shows you books, right? So yeah, I'm, I've just shown you everything what you need to know about the app. This is how you can use it. But if you want to use your iPhone more productively, I would highly recommend you to join the Fox Tech Educational Platform. 
It is free to join. You can find it linked down below in the description. You can watch courses like the in-depth Dynamic Island course, which I just finished. You can watch it there for free. There is also a community of other people learning already. So go ahead and check it out right now and I'll wait for you inside. For now, see you guys later. Thanks a lot for watching.